Hey guys, I'm Asia and welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be automating a water supply to our small coal boiler and going to be putting in a steam forge hammer so that we can actually make plates of actually having to use our hammer all the time, uh, basically save on materials in making new hammers. Um, since every single one of these so far had to be made with hammers, I've actually gone through about six or seven so far. Uh, and now with the steam forge hammer, I can make them with just basically a power requirement. Uh, I'll still need the hammers for making uh, things like pipes and all that, but um, I'll have to go through less hammers now. So yeah, that's, that's the idea. All right, okay, so the first thing, just gonna make a, I forgot what it's called again. Yeah, bronze hole, that's it. As you can see, I still need to use the hammer. Gonna need to make some pipes, and I'm not sure about the recipe here as well, because depending on which way you put the hammer and the, uh, the wrench, tell, oh, no, see, other way around. Is it six small ones? I'm gonna have to just check. Steam, and of course it's raining. Steam extractor, steam forge hammer. Small ones, small ones, yes, there we go. Now, uh, I've got an anvil now, uh, mainly because of the compressor which allows us to make those uh, iron blocks, which of course Greg Tech uh, um, has made it so it's practically impossible to make them without either uh, molding, um, advanced machines, or in my case, the compressor. So I've got the steam one. And before we go and just plonk, actually we can just plonk this down right now. Um, just use a fluid pipe, ordinary Billcraft one. Um, I've got my wrench. I'll set the output, steam output to the top. So it'll work. And then we just need to put in an automated water supply and then we can start compressing stuff. I should mean uh, forge hammering stuff or something. The reason why I'm using Billcraft instead of Greg Tech for the pumping, um, Greg Tech requires uh, at least uh, electrical machines to do pumping, and we're not quite up to that stage just yet. Plus, the Billcraft um, stuff, such as pipes and machines, they're fairly cheap to make, so why not? Okay, flip that on. Okay, do do do. Do have enough water in there? Now I've got plenty. Oh, I need some heat though. Okay, so now, just as a demonstration, I'll just chuck in two pieces of bronze. As you can see, it starts working. And I should get a bronze plate out of it. Yay! One of the main reasons why I definitely wanted to go to Steam Four Times is because I managed to find this diamond horse armor in a Thorncraft chest I believe and if I hammer it I should get eight diamonds uh, and if you know Greg Tech it's fairly difficult to get diamonds um, it's fairly difficult to find where they are in the oh that's, that's a loud noise okay have I run out of steam I've run out of steam okay I will be back as soon as this thing gets finished Okay, I'm back and I've actually got it to work. I've got my eight diamonds. Turns out this machine requires far more steam uh, to do the uh, smashing the diamond horse armor. And it probably requires more steam than other machines. So I've essentially had to upgrade my pipes to the Greg Tech ones, which do these ones, I think, 800 liters a second compared to uh, these pipes, which are 20 millibuckets a second. So you can imagine that it's, it's quite a significant increase. And I've also had to add an extra boiler in just to, to get my diamonds. But uh, have I got any more? I thought I had more one, bron one more bronze. I do not. Let's see what else I can make here in the plate. Uh, yeah. Manganese. Uh, okay, I'm going to need some of these later on so I can use these as a test. See how effective it works now. Let's 
see what the sting levels are like. So it uses this fair bit of sting. Okay, and here goes the last one. How much steam we got left in here? Yeah, a fair bit. Okay, so there we go, there's the uh, Steam 4 Chamber. Um, and since I've upgraded these pipes, I might as well just show you uh, something a little about them. Don't touch them, they're hot. Especially if they've got steam coming through them, they're hot. If the liquid that goes through them is supposed to be hot, they hurt. As you can see, ouch. Uh, I think that's about it today, guys. Um, if you guys uh, know how to um, store Steam in Greg Tech, let me know. Um, save me time from having to figure it out myself. Um, yeah, until next time, guys. Ready, aim, fire.